Hello everyone. This is the first video in a new series that I'm starting called Getting Good at On Foot Combat. The first three episodes of the series are actually a preparatory three part introduction because when it comes to On Foot Combat, preparation is key. The first step in that preparation is knowing your hood, which is what I'm going over with you today. On a side note, most of the information in this video should be useful for any on foot activity, not just combat. Okay, let's get on with the video. The radar at the top left of your on foot hood displays your position relative to other players, NPCs and other points of interaction, such as ammo restock points and recharge points. Your position being the central point of the radar. The direction that other players and NPCs are facing is indicated by the direction of the arrows and their status is indicated by their colour, green being friendly, white neutral, hollow blue is a teammate and red is a hostile. The small status icons surrounding the radar show your bounty status, this icon is red if you have a local bounty, an illegal goods warning, this icon is red if you are carrying any illegal goods. A temperature warning, this icon is red if the current temperature outside of your suit does not support human life. A restricted area warning, this icon is red if you have been seen in a restricted zone. If you get seen in one again, once this is red, then you will be shot on sight. Next is a no weapon zone warning, this icon is red if you have been seen with your weapon unholstered in a no weapon zone. If you get seen in one again with your weapon out, once this is red, then you will be shot on sight. If you are currently in a team, then your teammates are listed below the radar. You can see their shield and health status bars here, the blue bar being their shield and the green bar being their health. The top bar across the centre of your hood displays the local environment's temperature and gravity on the left. This temperature can change as you enter or exit a settlement's structures. The main centre portion of the top bar is the compass, which displays the compass direction that you are facing, and also shows markers pointing in the direction of your ship, SRV, mission objectives and any other important features. The right side of the top bar displays your precise location on a planet's surface in latitude and longitude. If you are taking part in a ground conflict zone, then you will also have a status bar for the conflict beneath the compass bar, as I do here. You can see my side is currently winning by 325 to 50. When a conflict gets down to the last of the enemies, you will also see little icons here representing the remaining hostiles left to take out. The top right corner of your HUD is where you will receive information updates such as the status of any current objectives. If you are taking part in a ground conflict zone then you will also have status bars showing the capture points and their current status. In the bottom left corner of your HUD you have your status panel. This provides all the information on the status of you and your suit. The top row of icons are general notifications or indicators. Starting at the left there is an icon for chat, which lights up blue and shows the number of unread chat messages if you have any. To the right of that icon is a mission icon, which lights up blue when you are in a mission related location. To the right of that icon is a team icon, which you can see is lit up in blue here for me, indicating that I am currently in a team. Going to the row of icons below, these are all icons that indicate what is currently depleting your suit's power. If a particular item is currently depleting power, then it lights up in yellow. In order from left to right, we have night vision, then temperature control, then jump assist, then tool use, then shield recharging, then oxygen production. The yellow bar beneath those icons is your suit's main energy level with the energy icon and percentage beneath it. As you can see, my suit is at 79% energy here. The blue bar beneath is your suit's oxygen level with the oxygen icon and percentage beneath it. As you can see my suit has 100% oxygen here. The oxygen level is constantly being filled by your suit. If your suit runs out of energy though, then your oxygen level will start to drop as you use up the available oxygen. If you don't recharge your suit before you run out of oxygen, then you will die. 
To the right of these status panels you have a large circle, which is your shield and health indicator. The central green circle is your health, and the outer triple circles are your shield strength bars. If your shields are not turned on, then the outer circles will be greyed out, and it will say off at the bottom of the circles instead of the shield percentage. Here you can see my shields are turned on, and they are currently at 88% strength. The circles of your shield will drop as you take damage. Once your shield is taken down, then any further hits on you will start to take down your health. Your health circle will deplete in a clockwise direction until you're fully out of health. If your health reaches zero, then you will die. If you are no longer being hit and your shield is still up, then the shield circles will start to recharge from your suit power. Circles that are currently recharging are dashed. You can see my outer shield circle is currently recharging here. Once fully charged, each circle will turn a solid blue. If your shield is taken down, you will have to wait for your suit to be able to bring it back to a minimum charge before it will come back online. Once back online, then the shield circles will start to recharge back to full strength. To the top left of the shield and health status circle is a security level icon, which shows your current security level at the settlement that you are in. You can see mine is currently at zero here. The security level is used to allow you access to authorised areas. So, if you have a security level 2, then you can go through doors that have a security level of 2 and so on. You can also steal security level profiles from NPCs using the profile scanning tool. When you point at an unfoot target, then your HUD displays their name, rank, shield status, health status, local bounties and security level if they have any at the current settlement. These labels are also coloured to show the target status towards you. Green for friendly, white for neutral, blue for a teammate and red for a hostile. The top status bar is the target shield status, which shows their shield strength by the number of lit up blue bars. The bottom status bar is their health status, which shows their health status by a green bar that depletes as they lose health. From the label above this NPC, you can see that they are a commando, who is hostile to me, their shield is down, and they have full health. The hood also shows the remaining ammunition for your weapon when it's not holstered. The larger number being the ammo remaining in your current clip, and the smaller number below that being the remaining ammo that you have stored for that weapon. Below the ammo count, the hood displays an icon representing your currently equipped grenade type, and the number of those grenades remaining. Well, that's it for this episode. If you enjoyed the video or it was helpful, then please do hit the like button as it will help the video get seen by others. In the next episode, I'm going to be going over how to get better mouse control and aiming. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. Until next time, see you out in the black commanders. 07.